Oh, hey. What's up? I didn't see you there. Come on in. Just kidding. <clears throat> I would never start a YouTube video like that. I've always wanted to, but I wouldn't do it because it'd just be weird. Anywho, this is my first video in a long time. I've gotten a lot of requests to make another one, and it's been quite a while. So this YouTube is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit more serious, but then again, it's going to be a little bit less serious. It's kind of just one of those things. Anyways, I decided to do a video on one of my favorite hobbies that a lot of people are quite familiar with, but then again, a lot of people on YouTube may not be as familiar with or just wouldn't know, but I wanted to put it up because it's what I do, and I felt like it was cool. Not really, but I'm just going to be showing you a little what I do on a, I wouldn't say daily basis, but every day kind of deal. So we're all familiar with music, right? Well good, because that's going to be a big contributing factor to today's little topic, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on a second, I'm going to get some breakfast. I feel like this video is going really slow. Hey YouTube, I'm back, and my camera's wearing a hat. So I've been thinking to myself, out loud. Not really. I just wanted to say that. That was really random. I love cheese. But I'm going to share with you guys something today. A little bit weird, but it's, it's, it's what I do. It's, it's a hobby of mine. So, okay. <sighs> Look at those guns. I should wear black shirts more often. No, seriously. Um, okay, one of my hobbies that I love doing, which is really weird. Um, I actually got started a long time ago. Um, you know, uh, I do a lot of uh, parrot, not parrot, um, covers, covers of songs. I make covers of songs, but I do it really, really weird. Uh, you know, you know helium, that element, AG, you know, that good stuff. But I found this effect on this editing software a few years ago. By a few, I mean like a long time ago. And it was called Helium. I'm like, this is interesting. And so I was recording a song or whatever. I think it was Holiday by Green Day. Yeah, Holiday by Green Day, because they're really easy songs to do. Easy to sing, easy to play, whatever. They're good. <clears throat> so, um... The first song I was doing, I was like, oh, Helium, what's that do? So I selected the whole track, and I played it, and I was like, haha, this is hilarious. So I made it as, like, a joke, and I was like, look, guys, it's funny. They're like, hey, that's really good. You should make more. And I was like, hmm, okay. So I started making more, and now I do, like, this whole Helium cover thing, and I actually have albums, I guess you could call them. Um, it's cool, you know. I do it a lot. And I think today I want to show you an example of me doing one, because I just finished one called Viva La Gloria. I call it Viva La Helium, though. I, I changed the titles just to make them weird. So, I'm just going to show you what I do in my normal day life. Yes. So far, uh, Helium song-wise, I've made, I believe, 56. This is my 56th song, yes. Um, most of them, actually the vast majority of them are all Green Day songs, because they're really easy to do. I did a Queen song, too, and I also did um, one by The Clash. And I think I did a Johnny Cash one too. Yes. Yeah. Anywho, um, so what I usually do is, well, first I listen to the song a thousand times, get it down pretty much 100%. And then I find parts of the song that I don't like. Actually, I just started doing that with this song. Because all of them I just did exactly like the album one or the live one, whichever I was doing. Well, not exactly, but pretty much close as I could. Some like this, like, example. Right here, the drums. Like, they're cool, but I really want to spice them up. It's just... Big bass, bass, big bass, 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 bass. Say it to go again. Come on, how about... You know, throw some double bass. That would sound cool, right? Wouldn't it? Maybe? I don't know. I'll have to see. I'm showing you this all in like a few minutes. It really happens in like over a period of like a month or so, but yeah, this is basically how it goes. And then usually after I have about what I want it to sound like in my head, I go practice it a little bit with myself. So Gloria, send out your message of the light that shadows in the night. Sing, that, you shut just up. suck. You're you so messed up. And then I 
record all the parts separately, individually, listen to the same track so they stay about the same beat, you know? And then I mix them all together, and uh, here they sound like, uh, like this, for example. I don't actually have my original ones, because I usually delete them afterwards, because uh, I don't want anyone to find what I sound like not on Helium. But yeah, here's one that I'm working on right now. It's 21 Guns Live in L.A. But I'm not really live in L.A. I made that up. I'm in my living room. But I'm going to have an audience. So yeah, then I'd listen to it all the way through. Um, usually me pulling my own hair out most of the time, actually, because of how much I dislike it. Okay, so I need to turn the bass drum up a little more, cymbals down, add backing vocals, audience, turn to helium, good to go. And that's what I'm doing, mostly every day. Stuff like that. I kinda just do my own thing. So I'm just gonna edit now, with the end credits, and it's gonna... I'm just gonna put the song that I made in there. And tell me what you think, if I screwed up a ton, if I didn't screw up as much. This one I kinda did quick, I did this whole thing in about two and a half weeks. So, it was pretty fast. But yeah. Later. Come on then, make my day. Yes. Come on, yeah.